Dutch Cargo and his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Friendly Headhunter. What happened? Somebody murdered? Got the whole police force here. What have they given away? Oh, they're all going in the bookstore. Certainly. Clutch Cargo is in there, autographing his great new book. Sign mine, Mr. Cargo. Hey, Clutch. Mine's next. Me too, Mr. Cargo. Never thought anybody would read it, Spinner. Gosh, everybody loves your book, Clutch. And Paddlefoot likes that part about dinosaur bones. Stand back, folks. Make room for Tom Page, Mr. Cargo's editor. Here I am. Hold everything, Clutch. What's wrong, Tom? Urgent telegraph from South America. It's my old friend, Chubb Perkins. He's missing in the jungle. Uh-oh. No more autographs today. Come on, Paddlefoot. Rip! How'd Mr. Page's friends get all the way down in the Amazon, Clutch? Chubb Perkins and his daughter have a jungle plantation for the wilds of the Amazon. I hear it's fabulous. Chubb Perkins lost in that great big jungle. How will we ever find him? Chubb's wandered off before. It's his daughter, Mary, that worries me. I sent her a wire. We were on our way. All passengers, please fasten seat belts. Plane arriving at Belém. Hang on, Spinner. Here goes. Think it'll fly? What? Clutch and company rent an old jungle crate and head for the deep, dark interior of the Amazon and Chubb Perkins' plantation. This relic flies better than it sounds. I'd hate to fall down there. Hey, what are all those funny-looking logs down there in the river? Logs, Spinner? Logs, did you say? Yeah, logs. What? Yipe! <laughs> crocodiles, Spinner. Man-eating crocodiles. Look friendly? Ah, they're crocodiles, maybe. But not to me. <laughs> As Clutch and company fly deeper and deeper into the Amazon, Let's go on ahead and see what's taking place at Chubb Perkins' plantation. Whiplash, I want to talk to you. I'm not doubting you, Whiplash, but are you sure there's been no word from Clutch Cargo? No, Miss Mary. I've been your daddy's plantation foreman for 25 years. I wouldn't fib to you. I know from his adventure book, Clutch knows all about this Amazon country. He could find daddy. Don't look like this clutch cargo fella's going to show, Miss Mary. Well, I can't wait any longer. I'm going out looking for Daddy myself. You stay here and look after things, Whiplash. <laughs> she won't get a hundred yards from here, and the headhunters will get her. <laughs> oh, it's a pity I had to tear up that message from Mr. Cargo, but business is business. <laughs> and now with Miss Mary out of the way, the Chubb Perkins plantation is finally mine. <laughs> All mine. <laughs> Careful, Miss Mary. The jungle holds many dangers. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo and his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Friendly Headhunter. You remember last time Miss Mary, Chubb Perkins' daughter, had left Whiplash in charge of the plantation while she started into the jungle alone, searching for her father, unaware that Clutch and company were on their way to help. There's Chubb's mooring, Doc. We still have a long jungle hike ahead of us before we reach Chubb Perkins' plantation. Gee, Clutch, how are we going to get through all that thick jungle underbrush? With this, Spinner. These jungle vines grow back and cover the path as fast as I cut them down. 
Stick close with me, Spinner, so we won't get separated. Crutch! Lucky! Death to trespassers. Wow! Something's wrong. Chubb Perkins had never put up a sign like that. All the more reason why we should hurry on. Maybe somebody's taken over Chubb's plantation when he disappeared. You're right, Spinner. That sign. We gotta hurry. Chubb Perkins disappearing is bad enough as it is. But his daughter Mary, left on the jungle plantation alone, makes me shudder. What the? <coughs> Help, Clutch! Something's got Paddlefoot! <coughs> A spider vine's got him. Stand back. I'll save him. Spinner! <coughs> and he didn't lose his tail either. Boy, is he happy. He's thanking you, Spinner. You know our motto. All for one, and one for all. Look, Clutch! There's Chubb's plantation! Looks deserted. The spider vine got me! Trespassing, eh? <laughs> Death to trespassers! <laughs> Hang on, Spinner. I'm coming. Oh. Take it easy, mister. We're looking for Chubb Perkins, the owner of this plantation. Oh, yeah. Your clutch cargo. Your wire arrived. I gave it to Miss Mary. She went into the jungle searching for her father anyway. Huh? Tried to make Miss Mary wait for you, but she wouldn't. How strange she wouldn't wait. I was just about to organize a search party, but now that you're here... And maybe just in time. Come on, Spinner. Back to the plane to get our equipment. Miss Mary may be in big trouble. May be in big trouble. She is in big trouble. And they'll never come out either. Or my name's not Horatio Simpkins Whiplash. <laughs> we'll make much better time in this dugout canoe spinner. Yeah, but isn't this river loaded with crocodiles and man-eating fish? That's right, Spinner. Crocodiles and man-eating piranhas. Jeepers, Clutch! Crocodiles! They're coming right at us! Steady, Spinner. Grab Paddlefoot. Look out! Wow! That crocodile could tear their boat to pieces. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo and his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Friendly Headhunter. You remember last time, Clutch Cargo, Spinner, and Paddlefoot were in a native boat on their way to help find Chubb and Mary Perkins. A giant crocodile had attacked their boat and was about to shake it to pieces. Hooray! He did it! Good boy, Paddlefoot. You chased him away. Hang on to him, Spinner. Remember, this river is full of those man-eating piranha fish. Yeah, and they might like dogs, too. Doesn't sound good. Someone's tipping off the Paranto Eries of our approach. But, but not a headhunter in sight. Uh-oh. Here they are. Pretend you don't see them, Spinner. The Paranto Eries never kill anyone until they're sure what we're up to. And we're up to our necks in Headhunter's headquarters. Now they vanished as quickly as they appeared. Hey, the Tom Toms have stopped too. When the living jungle grows silent, it means trouble ahead. Uh oh, Clutch, look! Hey, Whoa. we're surrounded. Whoa. Hold on here. Something's haywire. You never see a gator, jag, an anteater play buddy buddy. Swampy! Swampy! What are you doing, Clutch? That didn't scare him. Only one man in the world could make those animals pals. Gee, Clutch, you yelled so loud you shook that big bird's nest. Bird's nest? Wait till you see. 
Clutch boy! Swampy, you fuzzy old goat. I was sure you were around here. You're the only one that'd have a bunch of animals like that for pals. Sure they're pals. D do they bite? Ain't. Ain't a tooth among them. But watch out, they might gum you. <laughs> Say hello to our guests. This is battered, beaten, and busted. Gosh, Swampy, must be nice having all these pals protecting you. I protect them. They're older than the juniper root. Uh, you can see he's got lots of friends, too. <laughs> what gets me, Swampy? How come you're so far from your old home? That swamp's ruined. What with some explorers stumbling through every couple of years, ain't no privacy left. What brings you back to the Amazon, Clutch? You remember old Chub Perkins? Sure do. Why, he's just up the river having the time of his life. He's not lost? Pesky piranhas, no. He's just fishing. We've got to contact him. His daughter Mary got herself lost searching for him. Come on, you critters. <laughs> Gotta sorta of move careful. Uh-oh, an arrow. It must be the headhunters. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo and his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Friendly Headhunters. Sort of careful. Old Chubb's gone kind of native. See what I mean? <laughs> Enough of your practical jokes, Chubb. Pop yourself out for a swamp talk. Swampy, you always wear an arrow in your hat? Very funny. And clutch cargo. What brings you back to the wild and woolly Amazon? We thought you were lost, Mr. Chubb. Heck no. I've been having the time of my life. I don't want to startle you, Chubb, but your daughter Mary has vanished searching for you. Oh, no. Oh, why? Why did I play hooky from the rancho? This is serious. Maybe you don't realize it, but if them headhunters get her, she's a goner. Whiplash. Whiplash talked me into playing hooky. What do you mean, Mr. Chubb? Mary thought she could run everything herself, so... Whiplash suggested I let her try it. So that's it. He got you both to go into headhunter country so we could get control of the rancho. Find Mary. Find her. My little girl. Uh-oh. Jungle Wireless. What are they after? One of my drumming friends, wrong accent. Hitting his ditties too hard instead of his dumbs. What do they say? What do they say, Swampy? It's about your daughter. The headhunters got her. Whiplash. Having a minute to lose. I've got to move up river. I can't go with you. Twisted my ankle bad. I, I can't walk. Well, I'll take it easy, Chubb. We'd better get going. I sent the rest of the animals home. Busted, my old tiger buddy will stay and look after you. Hurry. Find her. And be careful. I'll be all right until you return. Gosh, sure hate to leave him behind. Hey, what's that noise? Sounds like a waterfall. The Amazon. We've reached the river, men. But look. A sheer drop. We'll never get across here. We're stranded. Never give up, Spinner Boy. Where there's a will, there's several ways. One good one will do it. This vine, for instance. Will that skinny little vine hold all of us? It better. Look at them clocks. Plenty of strength here. The natives make bridges out of them. Here goes. Follow me hand over hand. We haven't a minute to lose. You go ahead of me, Spinner. I'll hold Paddlefoot. You'll need both hands and all the fingers you got. Easy does it. Those, those crocodiles look hungry, and my hands are tired already. 
Just keep moving, lad. Oh, oh my gosh. Catapult's falling. Catapult. <laughs> Poor Paddlefoot. How can they ever save him from the crocodiles? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo and his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Friendly Headhunters. Last time, Clutch and company had found Chubb Perkins, but not Mary. Fearing the headhunters had captured her, the search party was forced to cross the treacherous river by a small jungle vine. When suddenly, without warning... I got him! Saved by a dog's tail! Hang on, we're almost there. Clutch, look! Something's moving on the other bank. Headhunters. You think you got trouble? Look behind! Whiplash! Now I've got you where I want you. <laughs> Hang on tight. We're in for it. Whiplash behind us, headhunters in front of us, and crocs below us. Step into our bushes. We were expecting you. Oh, you speak English. Righto. Oxford, 34. Well, gee, Mr. Headhunter, thanks for saving us. Very decent thing to do under the circumstances. You can help us. We're looking for a blonde young lady, perhaps. She's with us. Gee, you don't seem like headhunters to me. Yes, we're hunting heads right now. Cabbage heads. And say, that young lady showed us how to make a new dish. Guamki. Guamki? Yes. Stuffed cabbage. Delicious, don't you know? Mmm, yum, yum, Guamki. We must hurry along. That whiplash fellow will be trying to catch up with us. And you have such modern transportation. Oh, yes. These jungle trails are impossible without it. Ah, here we are. Ain't that Chubb's daughter over there? Yes, it's Mary Perkins. Clutch Cargo. Yes, Mary, we found your dad. He's okay. Oh, thank goodness. Mr. Cargo, these people have been so helpful. And Miss Mary taught us how to make guam cake. But where is Daddy? He's not with you. Look! Oh, Daddy, I'm, I'm so glad to see you're all right. No. Now, my dear, everything is fine. And we can thank Clutch Cargo and his wonderful friends for finding us both. And we mustn't forget my faithful friend, Busted, the tiger. But what about Whiplash? Yes, he was the cause of all this. What about Whiplash? Oh, yum, yum, wonky. Gosh, Clutch, look, they're all smiling. They are friendly headhunters, aren't they? And so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and the friendly headhunters. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo and company and the Arctic Prisoners.